previously on The Walking Dead. Who do you think did this? Think about it. You're Carver, what do you do? What's the most important thing in this world? Fuck that bitch. Clement's family. People like Matthew aren't coming back. Rebecca, our baby deserves to be raised in a place of safety. Ah! Go to hell, you fuck. Oh, I forgot Walter died. And uh, yeah, Alvin. I got Alvin killed. We're going home. As a family. As a family. Well, at least Alvin doesn't have to deal with uh, with Carver. Rubbing in his face. That's his baby. Is that a moth? Or butterfly? You got done over there? Yeah, one second. Thanks for coming with me. It's scary out here. I know they made you. It's still nice that you came. We're safer if we stick together. It's gonna be dark soon. Yeah, I know. But it's cool you came. I thought they were gonna tell my dad to go with me. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> Walter. Everything come out all right, girls? Ew. What the fuck? Troy, get him tied up. Will do. I, no, I already right. don't like Troy. minutes out. Fucking disgusting. Make sure everyone's prepped. Emotions might be running high. Carver out. If I find out you've been wasting fuel to keep that fucking heater going, I'll make you walk back. Nope. Froze my ass off. Just like you told me to. It ain't polite to listen to other folks' conversations. That's crazy. Has ever taught you that? Where's your manners? I used to have a walkie-talkie like that. Oh, really? And what happened to it? Because you can't have this one. That's none of your business. <laughs> Bitch. No, no, oh! Stop! Don't hit my friend! Damn! You don't want to test me, girl. I'll pass every time. I'll Leave fucking do it alone. again. Tie her up and throw her in with the rest of them. <laughs> God damn, dude, that slap was loud. That shit gave me slap mountain flashbacks. Hey, Amanda. In. Are you guys okay? The hell did he do to you? Hey, did he hurt you? Hey, hey! Kenny. At least Kenny's alive. He's kind of losing it, but at least he's alive. We gotta do something. Come on. Anyone got anything sharp? Anything? We need to get these bindings off. Hey, Clem, help me find something to get these off. Anything sharp that could cut these. And what good is that gonna do? The hell is wrong with you people? We gotta get out of here. The truck's empty. First off, we're in it, so it ain't exactly empty. Okay, you don't help buddy. Me, just say so, okay? What the I'll fuck? Damn. We're in a fucking precarious position here. We gotta do something about Settle that. Settle down, Kenny. They took everything. We have to keep a level head. He's right. 
You don't know Bill like we do. Bill? This whole time it's Carver, Carver, Carver. Now he's fucking Bill? Oh, I see what it is. Y'all are just getting a ride home, aren't you? That's what's going on here. Say that again. I'd stay out of this, boy. Mr. I ain't boy. A... No, right. You're a man. You don't understand. He's different. It's worse. The this fuck is not are Borderlands. You about? He wants to punish us. What do you mean worse? He's a fucking psychopath now. You have no idea what you're dealing with. Oh, he gave me a pretty good goddamn idea back at the lodge. And I don't intend to sit around here and let that happen to the rest of us. I'm trying to help. I'm sure Walter really appreciated your help. Like you helped Alvin. <laughs> That's not fair. You're blaming him for the actions of a madman. I am pointing out that regardless of intent, there are consequences to rash actions. Something that he seems to be misreading as capitulation. I don't know what the fuck you're saying, but I know it's bullshit. We have to do something. Kenny, you can't reason with him. Hey, Greta. Oh, shit. Jackpot. Sit down. You're going to get us all killed. Y'all don't know what you're talking about. We get cooped up in some kennel like a bunch of fucking dogs. It's over. You don't know that. Yeah? Well, I've been in this situation before. You ever been a prisoner? Kenny's right. We have to do something. We can't just sit here. How is it the kid is the only one that sees what's going on here? Clem, the adults are talking. What the is fuck? That what this is? All right. Now we're talking. Carver will be on the other side of that door with ten people. <laughs> Clem's basically an adult now. There, there, baby. It's okay. Everything's gonna be fine. At this point, maybe Luke is the only hope we have. If he was gonna do something, he'd have done it by now. Who knows what he's dealing with? Anything can happen out there. I'll tell you what happened. He abandoned us. You don't know that. I know he ain't here. He may not be around, but he wouldn't just leave us behind. That guy's a flake. I could tell the second I set eyes on him. Luke will help us. Oh yeah? When? After that crazy fucks killed us all? Hey, look, Clem. We're here. We're close. Okay, let's do this. They have guns. What exactly do you expect to do? I'm gonna punch the first son of a bitch I see. Then I'm gonna take his gun and use it to shoot the next son of a bitch I see. Just sit down. Shut up, Doc. This ain't your call. Hey, just, if something happens, just help out, okay? Don't, you know, get yourself hurt or nothing, but any help would be good. Hey, Clem, look at me. You trust me, right? Kenny, please, just... Just listen to them. I kind of want to see this plan unfold. I trust you. I'll, I'll do what I can. All right. It's okay to be a little scared, but we gotta do this. All right. Everybody, run. Kenny! Uh, God Kenny, are you damn. okay? Is he okay? I think so. Oh, what hit me? It's probably for the best. Goddamn brakes ain't working for shit. All right, up and at him. The fuck? How'd you get your restraints off? Come here. Come here. We've got some familiar faces back with us tonight. Now, I understand some of you are confused as to why we bring these people back when they left us as they did. I think I've got an idea. Now, it might not come all at once, but time will heal these wounds. Be patient with them until it does. And take solace in knowing that they're here to help us make our home a better place. All these feelings you have of anger, betrayal, hate, they're all valid. No one needs to forget what they did. But we do have to find it in our hearts to forgive them. Look how much food they have. That's a lot of rice. Saying what I think you're saying. As many of you already know, a large herd of lurkers gathers just south of us. Come on, we need you for something. Can it wait until morning? We're all exhausted. Just come the fuck on. It's nothing we can't handle. We need him. I need him. I need my dad. I, I can't. He's... He looks and after me. They have been taken into consideration. However, this is not up for debate. The expansion project... He'll be back. When? I don't know, but he will come back. 
Thanks, Clem. And with the added manpower joining us this evening, I have no doubt that we will continue. Make sure y'all stay off the fence. Bill can it's save no you from messing with it. Just to survive, it's our obligation to make this community a beacon of hope. Thanks, Barney. Yep. To provide a light, a bright light. I don't light. like Barney. Got a nice crib. So that is what we'll do. Y'all best get some rest, because there ain't gonna be much for you tomorrow. You're gonna be working hard. That's for you. Yeah, it would be. Fucking Bill. Keeps me out in the cold, but at least I'll be comfortable. Hey guys. Reggie! <gasps> Reggie. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. What did they do to you? This could have been worse, trust me. I'm lucky to be alive. It's my fault. No, it's really not. I would tell you if it was. This happened well after you guys left. I guess I should say Reggie helped us you, but when we ran away. So I know. I feel the same way. Do you trust him? I don't know. He's nice, if that's what you mean. It's not. Oh, then I, I don't know. They got me working outside. Lurker snuck up on me while I was hammering something. Luckily, they took the arm off quick. Saved my life. That's awful. I'm so sorry. Look, it was my choice to help you guys. Hey, Reggie. Oh, hey, Troy. Don't go fucking up now. Bill's real close to letting you out of here. You make sure things stay nice and quiet out here tonight, and I'll be sure to let Bill know just how helpful you were. Yeah, you can count on me. Thanks, Troy. Don't mention it. I don't know how I feel about him. He kind of sounds like, uh, <clears throat> like that guy from Adventure Time. The one in, like, the yellow cube. Oh, right. Let me introduce you. We were with them when we got caught. Hey, I'm Reggie. That's Sarita. Hello. And that's Kenny. Hey, yeah. Hello. Who are you? This freaks you out. It's okay. It freaks me out, too, sometimes. My name's Clementine. It's very nice to meet you, Clementine. Hey, where's Carlos? Bill's already got him looking at some folks. Oh, okay. Good. What about Pete? <laughs> well. Can you guys save it for the morning? Oh, there's another dude. Some of us gotta be up early. Who's that? I don't know. I don't recognize the voice. No problem. Sorry about that. Okay, that's Mike. He's kind of a dick when he's tired, but like I said, he saved my life, so I put up with that shit. <laughs> Bill put him to work outside the wall with me. I'm so sorry. Stop with all the sorry. It was my choice. Besides, he said once you were all caught, he'd oh, never join the group, so I'm glad you're here. I'm just joking. I know. I mean, he did say that, but I'm not happy about it. Who's she? Hmm? Who? The girl over there. Oh, yeah, right. Okay, so she's fucking weird. They found her smoking <laughs> around outside the camp covered in guts and just like the grossest shit. It's probably best not to stare. I want to talk to her. I know how it must look, but it's really not that bad here. Reggie. No, I'm serious. Where else are you going to find food like we have? We've got the canned stuff, and now with the greenhouses coming along, we've got fresh food. The building's getting more and more secure all the time, mostly through forced labor, but that's only temporary. They've <laughs> even got the solar panels working. When oh, was the shit. last time you had electricity, huh? Well, we just came from a lodge with a wind turbine. And... It's not a competition. I'm just saying, it's not <laughs> as bad as you think. We're building something great here, guys. A real community. Bill is making it happen. Look, I've made mistakes, and he's forgiven me. That doesn't make up for what he's done, Reggie. It feels more like a prison. Well, that is a very negative attitude. She's right, Reggie. Listen, I'm really close to getting let back into the group. Once that happens, I can do a lot more to help you guys be more comfortable. Comfortable? What do you think this is? I just don't want you to mess things up for me. I've worked really hard to get to this point. Will you please just try not to cause any trouble? At least until they release me. Then, once I'm out, 
I could help you more. Maybe even help get you out. We can at least talk about it more in the morning. Just have a quiet night and chat again tomorrow. I can't believe what I'm hearing. Look, the fact is, Bill had every reason to kill me when I helped you guys, but he didn't. Obviously, I don't know what happened while you were all gone, but he's given me a second chance, and I know he'd do the same for you. Reggie, I don't want a second chance. After what he did to Alvin, I want him dead. I need to sit down. Yeah, come on. Sarah, can you go see if there's something for her to drink? Okay. Yeah, there's water over by the benches. Yeah, I'm liking the series. Ah, oh, that didn't go as planned. Pretty invested in it. Should have actually made a plan. Man, fuck that guy. <laughs> I don't think we can trust him. I mean, clearly he's already drank too much of the Kool-Aid. I don't trust him either. He acts strange. Yeah. I guess getting part of your body chopped off can do that to a fella. You gotta take a look around. We gotta know if there's anything we can exploit to get out of here. We're in a tight spot. Gonna have to wriggle our way out. Sure, I'll have a look around. That Troy asshole's gone for now. This is our chance. Don't worry about Reggie. I'll go help run interference on him. Nice. Walker just snuck up on you, huh? Yep, I was uh, distracted. Happy New Year, Luna. Keep going with it, bro. Hey, I appreciate it. Despair, thanks for the 18 months. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's better than the ground. It's not. That's when I got I kind of want to talk to her. All right, I guess we're not talking to her. Well, Mike. Hello. Get lost. <laughs> I trust Mike more than uh than Reggie, to be honest. Bombastic side eye. What else we got? I guess we can talk to Nick. Hey, Clown. Nick? Just thinking about Luke. Just... There's no way he's gone. That he left. How about it? Cause me, I've known him for damn near 20 years now and I can't buy it. Yeah. Think you're right. He'd never leave you guys behind. Luke isn't that kind of person. Yeah, us guys. <sighs> Guess I'll try and get some sleep. You should too. You on the other hand, you'd probably leave us behind, Nick. Okay. Night. I yelled Reggie for five minutes, and that's when I thought I should really get out ahead of this. Crazy. Crazy? Oh, those crazy ones. <laughs> Kratos, thanks for three months. Appreciate it, man. Looks kind of crappy. Uh. I think I played Left 4 Dead a long time ago. Hey, Clem, come on. Don't be like that. She ain't doing nothing wrong, Reggie. Just relax. <laughs> can I relax when she's walking around touching everything? Oh, bro, I'm just a kid, bro. I'm curious. God. You ever been a kid before? Oh, hey, look, a ladder. And rope. That can be useful, maybe. Oh. It's stuck. He said he can, uh, he can see us if Reminds we mess. Reminds me of the jewelry store. We mess with that. So it's probably best that I don't touch that. <laughs> but I'm gonna touch it anyways. Clementine, please. I asked really nicely. I don't want hey, to. What the hell is she doing? <laughs> no, uh, nothing. <laughs> you know, kids, they love not listening. You had one job, Reggie. 
This is real disappointing. Gonna have to tell Bill about this. Please, come on. Hey, don't be like that, man. You shut your fucking mouth. I don't know you. Hey, Carlos is back. Dad! Oh, you all fucked up now. Bill's gonna hear about this shit. Troy, please. Fuck you, Reggie. This is setting you back a few. Get comfortable, asshole. Damn! He was trying to help. She's just a kid. No one's talking to you, Indian lady. What hey, the fuck? I am Indian. Oh. Everybody get to bed. I mean, at least he got it right, but fuck Troy. <laughs> what a fucking shitter. Some of these folks ain't too keen on leaving. It's up to us to figure out a way out of here. You up for it? They're all listening. It's your decision. I'm ready. Of course I am. Good, good. Confidence is good. You gotta have the right attitude. Now get some sleep. We'll need it. Played any other Telltale games? Nope. We just fucked over Reggie so badly. Oi! What? Get up. Bill's gonna have a word. I'm moving, I'm moving. Damn, bro, he's still wearing the There's same There's been shade. increased walker activity along the fence, so be mindful when outside the walls. What? The herds moved a little closer as of this morning. But that still doesn't necessarily mean we'll be hit. No, we're monitoring the situation. Now... There are some folks might be sore about what happened, and how things went. Well, that's all in the past now. Some of you are new to our community. Some of you are members who went astray. But know that you can find redemption here. Forgiveness by proving your worth through what will undoubtedly be hard work. You know, Reggie slipped up last night, but that doesn't mean he should lose hope. Today will be Stop a yourself. test for him. So let's all wish him the best of luck. How'd you sleep? <laughs> let Reggie be an example to you all. So tired. Salvation is available, but it I didn't must even be earned. That. I'm just gonna let her talk. Kenneth will be taking over Reggie's duties outside the walls and Michael will continue on I showing his value. Nice finally... Carlos! Yes? Your child seems to be in need of correction. I'm sorry. I... Sarah, apologize to Mr. Carver. S I'm sorry, sir. No, no. That ain't gonna cut it. I can't have this kind of behavior on day one of your reform. You discipline her now, Carlos. How do you propose that One I... One good smack across the mouth should do it. It'll make her think twice before opening it up again. Go on, we'll wait. My... I'm not sure with my hand that I could... Well, that's why you got two hands, Carlos. <laughs> Come on! Not some mamby-pamby thing, all right? A good hard smack. Otherwise, Troy here will do it for you. I don't think you want that. Yeah, I don't think we want Troy doing the... Overzealous. Is that the word? If it means I'll slap the shit out of her, then yeah. Go on, Carlos. Just on my business. <laughs> Alright, Sarah. I'm this sorry, will only Dad. hurt a I'm little sorry. bit. Surprise, honey. It's only going to sting for a second. Just a little smack. Do it. Oh my god! <laughs> god damn! I'm sorry, sorry. Stop! You're not coddling that girl anymore. Let her sit there and think about what she's done. Troy, get Carlos to his post. God Everyone damn! Assignments. It's time to get to work. God damn! You really knocked the shit out of her, Doc. Everyone That's what I'm work. saying. 
<laughs> You're working in the armory. Follow me. Oh, sick. I get to mess with guns? Soil, coming up. God damn this thing. Oh, shit. Clementine. Go on inside. Bonnie's waiting. Oh, no, not this bitch. Hey, I guess you're starting your day with me. We're loading magazines. Well, that's it. You got it. I suppose I owe you an apology. I wasn't truthful when I came across y'all at the lodge, and I was shown a kindness I never would have expected from a group of strangers. But now folks are dead, and I can't help but feel I'm to blame. But the plan was for no one to get hurt. I truly believe that was the intent. At least it was mine going into it. I understand you're mad at me, and you've got every right to be. But I wanted you to know I regret my part in all of this. I apologize. Which don't account for much, but it's all I can offer right now. How was your first night in the yard? I know it ain't so comfortable, but it's safe. You mean my first night in prison? It ain't a prison. More of a work release. Didn't they do those in prisons? Well, I... <laughs> probably. I don't know. i never been to prison. Don't tell no one. I'm trying to keep a tough reputation. I was supposed to go. When Luke and Carlos and all them left, I was planning on leaving too. When Luke approached me about it, I, I thought he was crazy. I mean, we're safe here. We got power, we got food, and Bill, he... He wasn't always like this. But you attacked them instead? Hey, I didn't attack anyone. Bill did all that. I didn't want... I wasn't expecting any of that to happen. I just wanted everyone to be safe. Out there ain't exactly all flowers and rainbows. I justified not going by telling myself it's easier to try and change something that's broken than start all over. Take the situation with the herd? That's the type of thing that rips a community apart. He keeps things in line. He's got a lot of this stuff figured out. I don't know. I guess I just wanted to be somewhere comfortable for a while. What changed? I don't know. I've been trying to figure that out myself. I mean, it ain't easy keeping a group this big fed and protected. I don't envy that position. Figured that'd make anyone a little stressed. A little? I'm not defending what he did. That was... <sighs> I'm alive because of him. That's just a fact. Sounds like you really respect him. It's not that. I just have sympathy for the man. Even though sometimes it's hard for him to do the same. Luke had ideas about how things should go, but they didn't line up with what Bill was thinking. They butted heads. Then Rebecca started showing, and that only made things worse. Maybe Luke was right about him. I wish he was around, but I just hope he's safe. Hello, Koma. Hey, Bonnie. Is that girl down there? I need to come get her. Yeah, she's here. Okay, I'll be right over. I'm sure it's fine. Oh, almost forgot. I grabbed this for you. Oh. Huh? What do you think? <laughs> I found it at the lodge y'all were at. Think it might be for scan. Had to wait for no one to be around to get it to you. It's kind of ugly. Really? I thought it was kind of cute. Well, this ain't a fashion show. It'll keep you warm. You better watch yourself. I think some folks might be jealous of that cool jacket of yours. Oh, there you are. What's with the ugly jacket? <laughs> <laughs> what? Never mind. I'll see you later, Clementine. Come on. <laughs> 